ALU. And today I'm going to demo a little ICO 720 transmitter that I just finished repairing. The note on this little transmitter is amazing. Super clean, no chirp. So let me show you what I did, and then we're going to listen to it in a dummy load on my NC300. Here's the bottom side of the ICO 720. You can see whoever built it did a great job. And ICO put a lot of quality into this transmitter. I was very impressed when I saw how it was constructed. Here's the new filter caps that I installed. Here's the old ones. You can see the end of this one is kind of punching out. I always make it a point to change the filter caps on these old transmitters before I even power them up. Here's the top side tour. If you look back here, they got a little cage. It's got the old oscillator circuits in there. There's the 6146. Your matching network. Power transformer back here, metering, and down here is the solid state GZ34 replacement rather than that expensive tube. The little ICO 720 is on the 40 meter band, approximately 7.125 megahertz. We're going to go to tune. You can see I can peak that with the grid tuning. And then the other thing I really like is they have a drive control. So you can get that drive right where you want it. Whereas on the Globe Chiefs and Scouts, they don't have that pot. So that really sets this transmitter aside from those. Now we'll go into transmit mode and I'm going to tune the plate. So watch the meter for the dip. You can see it has a nice smooth dip. It's really working well. Now let's take a look at the power output. I'm monitoring the output using a Drake W4 watt meter into a dummy load. So we'll go into transmit mode. And you can see a little over 50 watts dead key. That's at approximately 140 milliamps. And if I mess around here with the plate dip, you see that varies and it peaks, and at the same time it peaks, I'm getting a dip on my meter. So neutralization is pretty close. So I'm in the transmit mode, and take a listen to the tone coming out of the NC300. Super clean. Well, there you have it. Little Ico 720, ready to put back on the air. I'm really impressed with this thing. This is the first one I've ever ran across, and it sounds so good. I got to get it on the air for a while before I let it go down the road. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you run across one of these, you better snag them up. Even though they don't have a VFO, they're a great little CW rig.